Yo, what's up guys? Emmy hitting you up with another video. I asked you a couple of days ago if you wanted to see a Tolan showcase video and surprisingly a lot of you guys are interested to see it. There we go. So let's check out Tolan's skill real quick. So his S1 is basically a steals one buff and taunts. And his S3 is dispels all debuffs from one enemy, then attacks for 270% of his attack, inflicts zero hour for two turns, and consumes all of his trackbacks. Uh, launches a person to attack on random enemies with bonds of fate a certain number of times based on the number of trackbacks. So basically, after he's using his S3, he follows up with three times uh, his S1. And trackback is plus 10 speed per stack. And he has his debuff final passage, so after that one expires, he comes back with invincibility and absorb. So his AI is actually very smart, it doesn't matter who you target really. Um, so in PvP case scenario, he always targets the next in line, which should be this guy here maybe. But it could also be random because they have all the same AP. But in general, whatever you target, let's say you would target this guy with the S3, then he would follow up with this guy, second, third, fourth. And if you hit this guy in the back, he would do then one, two, three. Or you hit this guy, after you hit this guy, it's one, two, three. So every time you use your, or you doing, or you hit this guy, it's one, two, and then three. So Whenever this guy is doing his zero hour, he starts at the beginning. If that guy has zero hour, he skips to the next target in order. So we're doing like this. So if we hit this guy, then he's doing one, two, three. Let's check it out. And then one, two, and three. So that's the general order for his S3. So you can manipulate it and play around it in PvP as well. So there we go, Toland in PvP. You can actually do a lot of things with um, Toland in PvP. You can use, for example, a tier Toland combo with Ethan together. You could also use an Unas together with Toland, Ethan, for example. Um, you can also bring Winpin and another unit. It re you can actually do a lot to play around with. It really doesn't matter too much um, what you pick when it comes to um, Toland in a speed team. There are a lot of different options you can pick. So usually, for example, a Winpin you don't even need in a speed battle. Um, therefore, uh, I'm using Unas right now because I'm too lazy to rerun. So we are doing this here and enter the battle and see what happens. So Toland gets turn one. We can look at the order of things, what happens here. So in theory, it would be then the win pin next in line. Do I really care about win pin right now? Not really. I would rather personally like if you press on auto, he will prioritize the win pin. But I actually don't care too much about her, but I might want to remove the Ashley instead from the game. So there's no AP pushing going on. Thanks to that. And then he pursuits, lands his three taunts, and then we can do our thing. Defense break with Ethan. There we go. We won. So we are getting turn one. We are getting turn one. And we see the Toland is moving, so we definitely want to get rid of him. So we inflict him with zero hour. We do our thing, right? Land a couple of taunts here and there. And then we boost our team. Land a defense break. Then Gaius is free. The enemy Tolan does his thing. But it really, it really doesn't matter at this point. The, this battle is already over. There's nothing a single unit can do. Personally, I do not recommend bringing Tolans into these sort of teams. Because um, 
Dolan is quite lacking when it comes to tank teams. Like a zero hour, he cannot remove JYY and hide from the game. The maximum he could do is removing the Cecilia. I mean, we could try it. So in this scenario, I would bring a Windpan and Brewster obviously for the hide and Raven like whatever two DPS to deal with it sort of. And yeah, let's just play press quick battle and see what happens because we don't really need the speed here. Okay, let's watch it. So Dolan removed the armor from the game. And we taunted the Everett, which is quite nice. Then Cecilia died. But yeah, as you can tell, it's not really the Toland that did something here. It's more that the Brewster did his job pretty well. So it doesn't matter if you like, you could, could have brought something else like T. It would have been the same. So Bru Brewster was the MVP here. Just simply put, don't bring a Toland into a tank team because a tank team is hard to deal with. Um, it's it, like Toland struggles a lot against tank teams, so do not bring him there. He's um, really good for fighting. He's really good for fighting any sort of uh, speed team. Also, what Toland really well does is, first of all, you don't need Toland on your fastest set. A Toland on a fastest set is unnecessary because the only reason you want to have a Toland on your fastest set is to outspeed the enemy Toland. But there are other ways to play around that as well. What I am doing. Oh yeah, the next thing I wanted to say is that what Toland in reality offers you is for those people who don't have Penta speed relics, yeah? Toland is a way for you to even outspeed people who were lucky enough to get Penta speed rolls. With a Toland, you can outspeed them. There is a possibility for you to outspeed them even if you don't have a uh, Panther roll because as you guys know, Panther speeds are very, very scarce and it's sheer luck to, to just obtain them. So therefore, uh, if you had trouble outspeeding players before, Toland helps you out in that regard. Oh yeah, the last thing I wanted to mention about Toland is there was a discussion about the new Divinate or what I call the card system. Where people were kind of furious about um, Toland's card being too strong. But in reality, it is not that good. As you can see, when we are, when we are fighting someone like this, right? So Toland removes someone from the game and this card basically resets someone with his S3. But if you're playing in a scenario where it's a speed battle, it really doesn't matter if he uh, re skill resets a unit which is afflicted with zero hour. Because by the time the unit comes back, as you can see here, the unit doesn't even cannot even win the game anymore. So the whole effect is redundant and doesn't do much. The only thing that Toland does with his card really is the skill reset only helps him when you fight tank teams such as let me check let's say this guy here it's not really the the, the best um explanation but for units like jyy and Leon, so these units he cannot control so instead you have to play manual though because on auto it's all weird right you could at least skill reset a jyy a Leon, or a hide maybe to just get something else because you cannot control him and if you cannot control then uh, Toland really doesn't do anything and personally I feel like that even his that effect of skill resetting with his S3 isn't really good to be honest it's kind of mid I don't know why people are outraged by that I actually think it's kind of bad because either you win already or in and if you 
and the only time you don't win is when you fight a, a tank team. So why would you bring Toland there in the first place when instead you could also just bring a Elliot, for example, which is just straight up better against these sort of units to deal with. Why would you even bring a Toland in the first place there? I mean, the card helps them to deal a little bit with tanks, but it really doesn't do much. I actually want a different card frame because that really doesn't do anything from them. But that that's my opinion, guys, to let you know, because there were a lot of people outraged by that card. And from showing you what Toland actually does in PvP and with what he helps you with. So that was the showcase for Toland. Overall, very strong unit, very, very, very good unit. The place to use it's obviously 0.1 knockout and RTA. RTA is just time to shine moment because you have to manual there where you get more use of it, out of him and you will see a lot of tolerance in the next rta season because as you can tell um there was that sort of speed meta where you picked like two speed leads for example palmies these palmies will be replaced by a toland because he's just straight up better in these kind of scenarios but he has a really hard time to deal with um, tank units is good for any sort of speed battles you want to bring him there it's cool to have another speed lead but against tanks i don't recommend him he's obviously one of the best units for pvp in the game would i recommend pulling him if you do not have a win pin do not Pull Toland. I highly recommend not pulling for Toland if you do not have a Wimpin. Save your summons, get your Wimpin, because for, from Wimpin you can get way more value. You can clear, you can use in any PVE content as well as PvP. She's meta in both contents. If you do have a Wimpin, then I recommend pulling a Toland because Toland helps you a lot in different scenarios. So thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.